Here I've got the beginnings of our campfire chili. Went ahead and browned two pounds of um, grass-fed beef. It's from a cow that we just had butchered not too long ago. So this is in our Dutch oven over fire. You can kind of see how Steve stacked the logs, how close we have to have it to the fire. It's actually just smoldering, but it's nice and hot. It's cooking it perfectly. So um, what I'm going to do is just keep on cooking the hamburger meat. I do not use um, the pre-made chili flavoring, but what I am going to use in it is some chili seasoning, some cumin, um, I've got homemade, um, homemade, um, home canned tomatoes, rather. I'm going to put it in here. I'll show you guys. So over here, it's got some chili beans. I've got, oh, there's my home canned tomatoes. And chili powder, cumin, and I'm going to put in a can of Rotel. Should be good. I already had that in the pantry, so that's why I'm going to go ahead and use it. And then we're just going to let it simmer on the... Um, the fire and then we're going to make up some fry bread and that I will show you a little bit later. I'd show this before I stirred it up. So I've got the meat, the rotel, the spices, the home canned tomatoes and the beans in there. So what I'll do is I'm going to stir this up. The tomatoes will break down as they cook. So I'll just stir it up, put the pot on it and then we'll just let it simmer over the fire. Veil the chili. The campfire chili. I get the first taste. I get the first taste. It's gonna be hot. It's gonna be hot. Okay, this is hot. Just warning ya. It is. Sizzling. It's hot, Carly. <laughs> Screaming like a little girl. It's still coming. Screaming like a little girl. Is it good? Chili. Uh -huh.